As is probably apparent from a number of videos that I've already posted in the past, I think that the Leofoto CEX tripods are the bomb. Now there's a good reason for this. I do a lot of panoramic photography and I'm also a filmmaker, which means that I need a leveling base on my tripods. These are features that I've discussed in a previous video, which you can take a look at over here or here, depending on where I put the little indicator later on. I spoke about this specifically when I was doing a comparison between the Leofoto LS324 and the Leofoto LS324CEX, the latter being the version that has a half ball attached to the shoulder or the apex of the tripod so that you can level the base of your tripod ball head or your head. In particular, the reason why I think the CEX tripods tend to be slightly better tripods is the fact that they are ever so slightly taller, about 20% taller than the standard version, but they still have the same weight bearing ability, all the same features with the addition of a leveling ball head, which you can see over here. I love these tripods so much, I have two in my personal collection, the 324 CEX that you see here and a 364 CEX or I should say an LP364 CEX, which is the Agullis and unique to the South African market. Now in an even earlier video where I looked at the differences between the 32 series Leofoto tripods, uh, viewer Tom Bao basically pointed out that the tripod that he was missing from the lineup was a 323 CEX. Now the reason he wants the 323 is obviously because it is that much taller very, very sturdy. It's one of the sturdiest of the 32 series tripods. And of course it has the CEX half bowl or ball attached to the tripod as well. I did a little bit of internet sleuthing and I did come across such a beast, a LS323 CEX tripod, but unfortunately it's only available, and that's when you can find it, in the Chinese market. If you happen to be in North America, South America, Africa or Europe, Sorry, you're out of luck. You can't actually buy the 323 CEX straight out as is. Now, just to go back a step, if we look at the naming conventions of the Leofoto tripods, the first two letters are always going to denote the actual style of the tripod. So for instance, an LS is a Ranger tripod. A LP is a Poseidon tripod. An LY is the new Mr. Y series tripod. The three digits that follow are first going to have the largest diameter of the top leg section. So 32 would be a 32 millimeter diameter on the leg tube itself. And a 28 would be a 28 millimeter on the leg tube itself. If you have a 32 series, chances are you're going to have 32 as your top section, 28 as your next section down, 25 as the section down below that, and then 22 as your smallest section. The third digit is the number of leg sections that the tripod has. So a 324 obviously has four leg sections and the 323 has three. Usually, if you have a tripod that has fewer leg sections, those leg sections are also going to be longer. So the 323 is known for its length. The exception to this rule, of course, is that the 324 CEX tends to have slightly longer legs. So without the CEX apex, it becomes a CL or extra length. The kicker here is that the 324 CEX, which is essentially a CL version of the 324 tripod, is the same height as the 323. And this brings us to the last digits in the nomenclature. The C usually just stands for carbon fiber. If you see CL, it means extra length. And if you see CEX, it means leveling base. So you would choose the 323 over the 324 CEX because of its stability, it being able to handle that much more weight. Just because you cannot get the LS323 CEX wherever you happen to live, doesn't mean you can't have one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at how we can turn this tripod here, an LS324 CEX into a 323 CEX tripod, which gives you the added advantage of that massive height from only having three sections, but much taller. So how do we go about turning a 324 CEX into a 323 CEX? One of the things that I absolutely love about the Leofoto tripods is the fact that it uses a commonality of parts. All of the legs are basically the same, regardless of which range you are buying. Even if you buy something like the Poseidon series, which is their waterproof series of legs, they're still interchangeable because of the threads and the interlocking systems that go inside the leg itself. More importantly, when you are buying into a series 
of tripods, so call it the Ranger or the Summit or any of those kind of tripods, the apex, which is the section that the legs are attached to, always has a commonality or a common set of threads and knuckles. This means that you can basically chop and change to create the tripod of your desire. And I'm going to follow this up with a mega tripod uh, video in future, but for the time being, I'm gonna look at how we can take this tripod and turn it into a 323. Okay, so to turn the 324 CEX into a 323 CEX, all you need is two standard Allen keys, the same two that usually come with the tripod when you buy it, and which you can use to secure your camera plate to the camera base itself. Also useful is a screwdriver with a rubber end to it and potentially some dry graphite lubrication. This is purely to be able to get some of the shafts out of the actual ball head, out of the head itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the apex off of the legs of the 324 CEX by taking my two Allen keys and inserting them into the little nuts at the top where the leg actually joins onto the shoulder of the apex and you're just going to unscrew those. Okay, I'm actually going to work on it down flat. When you remove your leg you'll see that there are two little brass washers as well. Make sure you keep everything nice and neat together and just go around the rest of the tripod doing the same. If you find that any of these are slightly uh, jammed inside there, any, especially these little shafts of metal, just use a gentle tap from the rubber end of a screwdriver and tap it through so that you can grab it on the other side. If you find that the shaft sticks at all, a quick squirt of dry lubrication into the shaft itself and it should come out nice and easily. Right, so that's my three, three, two, four tripod legs, and there's the apex that we're going to be using. The next step is we're going to take a three, two, three C tripod, so it doesn't have the same apex as the CEX, it's just a standard plate at the top, and we're going to once more remove the actual legs from the apex itself, same process as before. And there you go, now we have our 3323 carbon fiber tripod legs. And you can see the difference if I put the two next to each other. There's a 324 and a 323. So those extra 15 centimeters give a significant difference to the actual height to the finished tripod itself. So we're now going to take, in fact, let me just pull that off. You can get a closer view of the apex of your CEX and then a standard flat plate. We're going to take the CEX flat plate now and add it to the 323 tripod and we might as well take the flat plate and add it to the 324. The process is the same as previously. What we're now going to do is add our two little brass washers into the top of the tripod itself or the tripod leg, the top of the tripod leg. That goes over the apex shoulder. You'll take one of your little shafts, push it in, you might have to line it up a little bit. There we go. To help line up, you can use a Allen key and just push the washer into place. And repeat the process. And there we go. We now have ourselves a 323 ball head. I'm sorry, 323 CEX tripod. There we go, put the usual head on there and I'll just tighten up my lugs at the top. And that's it. Now we have ourselves a 323 CEX. All we need to do is do the same again with the 324 and we turn it into a 324CL, which is basically an extra length version of the 324, which is even better than the standard 324C. 
as has no doubt become apparent, you have to have certain items to be able to take, do this exercise. For a start, you need to have a 324 CEX tripod or a 325 CEX tripod. Basically, any of the tripods that come with a CEX head, but with the 32 millimeter apex join. After that, you need to have a standard LS323C Leo Photo tripod. You can then use the two and combine them to create your 323 CEX tripod. Obviously, you have to start with two tripods. This is the downside to this. So the advice I gave to Tom Bau when he originally asked me on YouTube, how do you get a 323, or he wishes there were a 323, my basic advice is you buy yourself a 324 CEX and you buy an LS323C, combine the heads, and then you either keep your 324 now CL or you can sell it because this is actually a fairly sought after tripod. It is an extra length version of the 324, which makes it a fantastic tripod. So either you keep your two or you get rid of this second hand or as a demo unit and thereby pay for part of your upgrade to the 323 CEX. So you can actually have your 323 CEX if that is the specific tripod that you are looking for. Of course, this is a niche answer to a fairly small question. Not everybody is going to want that. Most people are going to be quite happy with the kind of tripod that you can just buy off the shelf. But if you happen to be looking for a 323 CEX tripod, this is the best way to get it if you can't actually acquire one straight off the shelf. You can if you're prepared to go on to eBay, potentially, or go through to one of the Chinese sellers. As I mentioned earlier in the beginning, if you happen to be in America, Europe, or Africa, this tripod is actually not available. So you can build it yourself out of two tripods if you want to. I'm going to have another future video looking at the interchangeability of the Leo Photo components and the ability to create what you can call your Swiss Army tripod that basically gives you access to a whole range of different combinations and therefore different kind of specification tripods as long as you're prepared to purchase more than one tripod. So that's it for me for today. A nice short and sweet answer to creating your own bespoke tripod from a Leo Photo range. As ever, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to pop a like and a subscribe into the bottom corner. And hopefully I will catch you again in a future video. Till then, cheers.